What was he talking about, huh? What goddamn black book? He was just messing with your mind, Dale. So they could get the shot off. Jesus Christ. I swear I never come so close to shitting myself. I, know. I saw Zoe out, out there. She had her face pressed up to the window of the police car like... Right. Like an abandoned puppy. She's safe, right? There's somebody watching her? I wouldn't trust the police to watch the tide come in. I'm sure she's fine. Ten years working here under three different managers. <laughs> Worst thing ever happened before was a rattlesnake in the bathroom. Take a minute. Get your shit together. Hey! What are you doing over here? Cut the guy a break. He just saved my life out there. He helped us one time. Doesn't mean he'll do it twice. Look, I ain't saying we should give up. But what are we supposed to do now, huh? No helicopter? That pig Romero don't care if we're dead or alive. I don't know anymore. Don't you point that thing at me. Ma'am, this is a live operation. Uh, Sheriff, uh, should I arrest her? Sharon? Sharon, you, you can't just... What the hell do you think you're doing? It's Ma. Dante, please. My boys are in there. They wouldn't have robbed my house without you knowing about it. Still, if you want them out, you let me in. Dispatch, stand by. We have a situation developing. Excuse me, deputy. Uh, Sheriff? Sharon, better not make me regret this. <sighs> Open up before he changes his mind already, will ya? Why are you here? I got this! <clears throat> you clearly do not. Hi, Ma. Hey, Mama. Hi, sweethearts. Hmm. Paul? Sharon? Hmm. Hope you're here to talk some sense into your boys. You two friends or something? Long story. So how did this whole thing become such a damn clusterfuck? Romero's how. He tries to break in, we ask for a helicopter, he lures us outside, takes a shot at Dale. I swear to God, I could kill that lousy crook. <sighs> Got something to say? Nope. Come on now. How have my sons been treating you? We're fine. We'll get through it. Fine, huh? Not sure I buy that. What's your name? Vince. He's a family man. Been trouble from the beginning. Always arguing. He saved your brother's life! Family man, huh? I get that. You probably think my boys are monsters, but desperate days make for desperate men. They're scared, just like you are, just like I am. So tell you what, you help me take care of my family, I'll help you take care of yours. Deal? Okay. 
Look, the sheriff, he, um, he gave me something. A two-way pager. He uh, what? He wants that book he was talking about. He said if I don't get it... You're working with the cops? Whoa, whoa, wait! Just hold on now! Tyler Douglas Holt! You let go of him this instant. I gave him my word. <sighs> so Dante tries to turn you, but you turn on him instead? Why? Look, I don't know all the history here, but I talked to your sheriff, and he was bad news. You're perceptive. I'll give you that. But it don't mean all that much. <sighs> Tyler, we should talk in private. That idiot Dante thinks I'm helping him. Dale, Jay, don't you worry. I'll get you out of here. You're helping them? Seriously? I had to pick a side. The sheriff, he nearly had me shot earlier for no reason except I was in the way. At least the bad guys need us alive. Oh, I'm with you. Just be careful. She's too sharp for her own good, that one. You think Zoe will be okay? After going through all this? She's got a lot of fight in her for someone so little. <laughs> I think she gets it from you. Some of the moves you've pulled tonight, I think we can both take the credit. Dante, it's Sharon. Oh, for crying out loud, just listen. Forget the helicopter. What we want is a school bus. Big enough for us and the hostages. Wait, we're taking them with us? We're safer that way. Well, I know I said that. Is it my fault you're gullible? Stop, 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 stop. Look, if this goes until morning, you'll have the state police here, maybe the FBI. And we both know that having them on your turf is the last thing you... <sighs> I can live with that. Call me when it's ready. Hey, what's that in your pocket? It's just a book about birds. Huh, it's some kind of hiding place. Honey, where'd you get this? It belonged to the sheriff. I, I thought there was something in it. Could you have dropped it somewhere? I, I don't know. I haven't looked at it since we got to the motel. It might be in the truck out back, but Romero's got a sniper up on the hill. He'll go. Me? We're in this together now, family man. And Jay, you go too. If he tries anything, do what you have to. Tails. Big deal. I promised Ma we'd fix this roof. It won't last another storm. Here. Make yourself useful. Uh, we replaced most of them. Need you to cut me some new ones. Think you can handle that? I've done it before. Mm. Pine. Easy enough to saw. Easy enough to fuck up. So don't. I won't.
Hey, bro. What kind of timber you got there? Uh... Ain't hardwood. So... You saying you got soft wood? Yeah. I think. Hear that, Tyler? He can't get it up. <laughs> what? Walk right into that one. <laughs> oh, look at his face. Should have seen that coming. We don't mean it. You know that. Uh, hey. Wanna get high? Nah. Still got some shit to unload. <laughs> you ever get those weird floaty things when you stare at the sky? You mean like little dots and squiggly lines? Yeah, I see him. I'm watching the birds sometimes. <laughs> well. Looky, looky. I hope I ain't disturbing your fun. Pa? What? No hug for your old man? Oh, fuck. Party's over. Hey, boys. I guess you finished the roof, then. Seeing as you giggling like a bunch of girls. See for yourself. It's coming along just fine. What? That's your work? Jay did him. Huh? Credit where it's due, right? Well, you ain't the sharpest tool in the shed, but you're better than your brothers. Faster, too, I'd wager. Would have finished it sooner if you bothered helping us. I had business in town. <laughs> and how much you lose this time? <clears throat> Come on, Jay. You ain't too old for a whooping, Tyler. Hey, fuck off and leave him alone. Do yourself a favor, son, and step aside. When my pappy used to take off his wristwatch, it was because it was time for a beating I wouldn't forget. Hold this. What in God's name are you fighting over this time? Nothing. Just complimenting the boys on the fine work. I didn't hear you come back. Why? Were you gonna roll out the red carpet? <laughs> so you can tramp your dirty boots all over it? <sighs> Cleaning up another of your messes is the last thing I need. Now, is someone please gonna tell me what this is about? Jay? Pa said the roof's taken too long. And then it got ugly. Yeah. When are you all gonna learn to grow up? I ain't cooked enough for five, so if you want lunch, you're making it yourself. No thanks. I lost my appetite. Jay, you better take those rabbits inside. I'll skin them later. We'll be right along. I'll fix us some cold drinks.
Who are you? <laughs> Hello, son. I represent some business acquaintances of your father's. <sighs> ah, that is good. I can see this is a well-run home. Anything I can help you with, sir? Now that's what I like to hear. Help me, you most surely can. Hmm, now let me guess. You're too young to be Dale, and Tyler is much taller, or so I understand. Uh... Which means you must be Jay. I've been sent with a requisition. A what? Is your father home? He was here, but you're too late. Ah, shoot. Now that's a shame, because my employers are most insistent. They sent me to collect a down payment. Huh? Hmm. May I? If you gotta, just don't drop the ashes on the floor. Hmm. I was certain I had some matches. Hmm. Listen, son. I'm not a violent man, but the people I work for. If your pa doesn't pay his gambling debt, with interest, owing money will be the least of his troubles. What exactly are we talking about? Let me put it this way. The men who come after me, instead of lighting cigars, they'll be loading their guns. Interesting. Swiss? <laughs> the watch. A collector's piece, I think. Yours? No. It... it ain't worth much. Maybe we can come to an arrangement. If you give me the watch, I'll talk to my employers and explain the circumstances. Consider it a gesture of goodwill. Do we have an agreement? Uh, I... Now that wasn't so hard, was it? Perhaps you're the good apple of the bunch after all. <laughs> Jay! I forgot my damn watch! Hey! I told your people to stop bothering me. Now get off my property and go back to whatever piss stinking hole you crawled out of. You've dug your own grave, Holt. Your families, too. You'll be hearing from us. Bring it on. I see you or any of your shit heel friends back here. I'll burn you alive. Let that piece of shit intimidate you? In your own home? The fuck is wrong with you? I'm sorry. Sorry? What does that mean? Jay, where's the watch? I gave it to him. Uh, I was trying to help. Oh, uh, for Jesus Christ's sake, can I trust you to do nothing right? Who was that? Jehovah's Witness. <sighs> More of your bear shit. Jay, what was that? This time, keep your goddamn mouth shut. He wanted money. Jay. For a gambling debt. Ugh. He said there'd be trouble if we didn't pay. Jesus Christ, Bear. Mm. How much? I'll take care of it. How? By walking away? Bear, I'm talking to you. 
I said it's not your problem. But I'll be left picking up the pieces like always! If all you've got to offer us is trouble, why do you even bother coming home? Even when we've got nothing, he takes it away. It's all right, Ma. It's all right. The shed's in the back. Yeah, away from the road. No fear. Gonna be awesome. Why isn't he turning off the lights? Hey, thanks, Sheriff. You okay? Couldn't be better. Hey, where were you sitting? Kind of all over. You check the cab. I'll check the bed. There you are. Is that what the sheriff wanted? Huh. It's just numbers. Department of Water and Power, $12,000. East Side Land Holdings, $8,000. There's hundreds of these. What are they, bribes or something? Hey. You all right? It's nothing. Just that we're so caught up in all this shit. You, me, the sheriff, my family. If you knew what I've seen the last few weeks, it's all just so messed up. <sighs> it must be hard. I know I hated my life when I was your age. I was fat, my dad was never around. Mine was. You ever have something you thought about doing, but you knew it was too dumb to actually go do? Sure. I used to be an aircraft mechanic. Fixed up 747s and little Cessnas and everything. But when I was a kid, I didn't want to fix planes, I wanted to fly them. In fact, what I really wanted to be was a flight instructor. So why didn't you? I don't know. I guess I was scared of failing. But seeing how everything turned out, maybe I should have tried. I always wanted to be a forest ranger. I wanted to go to that one place with the geyser. What's it called? Yellowstone. Yeah, that's the one. See that thing spout in the air? That'd be cool. Tell you what, let's get out of here alive tonight. Maybe we'll both get to rethink our lives a little. We should be getting back. You ever been married? Sure, to Vince's mother. I was too once. She left me. Said I drank too much. Wait, that's it. Sharon's bar. Didn't you come through here 
what, 15, 20 years ago? Said you were some traveling salesman or something. Hey, I am telling you, drop it. Hey, we got it. Well, look at you two. A regular Thelma and Louise. Holy Moses. What is all this? Sheriffs are elected, right? So all those names and cash amounts, could... Could he be paying out bribes or something? Paying them, taking them, and probably a lot more besides. He's been dirty as a dog for years now. Just can't believe he wrote it all down. Put me through to the sheriff again. I know. I'm inside it. Dante, it's Sharon. Your little whack-a-mole in here betrayed you. I've got your little black book, and I'll gladly start faxing pages to Channel 10 unless you get me that bus in the next 30 minutes. How long till the FBI gets here? Under an hour. All right, Sharon. You win. Boss, you sure? We could wait him out. Bring the goddamn bus. You shouldn't have come. It's not safe. Those cops, they shoot first, ask questions later. You doing okay? Better now. We all agree. How about you? I'm not gonna let you face it. Scared. Me too. Won't be much longer. What if something happens to us, Vince? What's the plan once we get in the bus? We drive to the border and hope like hell we don't have to stop for gas. They don't have any reason to harm us. We just gotta get through it. You're right. We'll make it. I've been thinking about the settlement from work. The gag order and all the hush money. Yeah? If we get out of this alive, I know what I want to do. I'm not signing. I'm gonna take those fuckers to court and sue them for ten times what they offered us. Really? Vince, that's amazing. You're not mad? I thought you wanted me to put it all behind us. Exactly. I wanted to put it behind us. I don't care. It's just so good to see you fight for something again. If I win, maybe I can finally take those flight lessons. Leaving the country? We can't go home again? Vince. Grow up. I've been thinking a lot too over the last few days, and there's no going back now. I need to ask you something. Anything. The other night when you, when I got that text message and I said it was no big deal, you just trusted me. Why? You said nothing happened, and I believe you. Do you not want me to? Of course I do. I just... Is it really that easy for you? Look, life's hard enough without me making problems that don't need to exist. You're a good man. You know that? So I've been told. Yeah, hi. Is Jessica there? Uh, it's Dale. Dale Halt? No. The one they caught shoplifting. Yeah, yeah, that's me. Look, I, I seen you work in that liquor store sometimes, and well, there's that bar near there, you know, the one with the pool table and all? And I just was wondering if, um, you'd want to go there with me sometime. Well, all right. Uh, it's a date. Everybody, on your feet. Listen, everyone. The only way any of us gets out of here tonight is on that bus. Hostages at the windows, us in the aisle. You sure this is gonna work? 
Won't pretend I'm sure of anything. But I know what this family's capable of. Why is the chassis so low? I repeat, bus is open. Take them out! Jay! Get up! Jay! Jay! Jay, get up. What? Pa? Are you hurt? I need you to drive me to the hospital. Get dressed. Don't worry, Pa. I'll get you there. I understand why you told your mom about the dead. But you got her all wound up and worried now. I just wanted to do the right thing. I know, son. But sometimes doing the right thing is doing the wrong thing. You'll understand that someday. <laughs> she used to think she could fix me, you know. All she wanted was a good man who'd love her back. Nobody wants to be alone. Not least your ma, anyway. So, when a woman like that says she wants you gone, well, you start thinking maybe she's right. Maybe the family don't need me no more. I've done plenty to earn it. She spat fire at me since the day I... Well, it ain't been good in a long time. Turn off here. Hospital's the other way. We ain't going to the hospital. Huh? Make the turn. How did you... How did you hurt your shoulder, Pa? You're a good kid. I know they say you're not supposed to have favorites, but... Tyler's trouble is too like his ma. Dale's is that he's too much like me. You're different. I can talk to you, son. Trust you. We stopped here. Help me get this tarp off the back. It's heavy. Pa, what's inside? Uh. You got it? A pull. Keep pulling. Come on. He's dead? Jay, you have to listen to me. He had my pappy's watch. I tried to get it back, but 
stubborn son of a bitch. He refused. He attacked me, and I hit him uh, too hard. He fell and hit his head. I, I didn't mean to kill him. I just panicked. I guess he just got what was coming. It wasn't your fault. Exactly. You lay down with dogs, you get fleas. That's what my pappy always told me. He said if I gave him the watch, they'd give us more time to pay. With interest? Oh, these people are sharks. You let them smell blood, and they'll eat you whole. I should never have given it to him. Ain't just any old watch, son. Like I said, belong to my dear old pappy. One day, it'll be yours. See if he's still got it on him. I don't know if I can do that, Pa. You're the one that gave it away. Now, you can get it back. Search him. Got it. Good. Pa, what are we gonna do? He's dead. Only one thing to do. Dig. Please, don't ask me to do that. Jay, listen to me. No one can find him. If we don't do this, the people he works for... Please, I ain't asking for me. Think of your ma. Think of your brothers. You're the only one I can trust. Pick up the shovel. Oh, man. I never told anyone this, but when I was half your age, we had this young horse, beautiful colt. Rode him most days. Then one summer, he threw me. Started bucking and biting, and I was lucky he didn't kill me. Next day, Pappy hands me his rifle. Says, when an animal goes bad, all a man can do is put it down. I can still smell the whiskey on his breath as he holds that horse steady. Counts to three. I squeeze the trigger and... Oh, that's deep enough. All those years, I hated him. Now I know he was right. It had to be done, son. That's... You were... You were just a kid. You grab his arms, I'll take his feet. Let's get him into the hole. All right. Let's get him covered before sunrise. We have to help him, Pa. Then I'll do it myself. Oh, God. 
God. Jay. Look like you need it. To he who falls last. You take care of your grandpappy's watch, you hear? Been keeping time on a Holt's wrist since the Great Depression. So you treasure it. Look, what happened tonight? It wasn't easy for me, neither. But I did it for all of us. And I don't blame you for thinking bad of me. I know I'm hard on you sometimes. And maybe I'm just no good. But I've made a lot of sacrifices, Jay. Going off to war. Taking care of that stranger tonight. Family means sacrifice. Even for a fucked up old drunk like me. They got places you can go, you know? Meetings? You can get help. Oh, they don't help old dogs like me. They just put them down. You saved a man's life tonight. And that makes you a better man than me. But it won't change things. It's my blood they'll want. It doesn't have to be like this. We can go to the cops. And tell them what? I tried to kill a man and bury him alive? These people, they ain't afraid of the law. <sighs> I brought this on us. So, it's on me to fix it. Now, get some sleep. I'm gonna go fix that roof you boys messed up. Sharon, you're not right about much, but you were right about me. Claim the insurance, it'll clear the debt. Sorry for everything. Pa! Pa! Let me do this. Please. Don't die! Don't die! <coughs> Shut up. Left me. You're still my pa. I don't want to lose you. Life ain't about what you want. Your boy's act of mercy towards me buys you two weeks. But the debt remains. And if we don't pay? The next time you see me and my friends outside, you'll be digging your own graves. Oh, God, Bear, if you'd only talk to me. Now he's got so many pipes and tubes sticking out of him. 
He ain't gonna be saying anything. For now. Should've let him swing. Two weeks? Even if we had two years, we couldn't raise that kind of cash. It's vintage. Valuable, I think. <laughs> that old thing? It's a fake. Trust me. Pa couldn't even give it away. Uh, you wanna hear my pitch? I say we rob the bank. Could work. Dumb right. Now, hold on. Nobody is robbing a bank. It's too risky. But maybe there's another way. your leg. And where's Michelle? Look. Vince? I'm gonna get you out, okay? Please hurry. Damn it. Hang on. Ma, it's over. We can't win. On three, okay? One, two. Oh, dear God, please let this work. What are you doing? Improvising. Oh, shit! Run, run, run! Go, go! Everyone okay? Keep going. We're not safe yet. The whole fucking place is on fire. Oh God, I hope Paul got out. How do we get out? There's a window. Come on. Mother. Paul. Get out of there! The whole place is going up! We're gonna have to jump. Uh, Vince, wait. If I don't make it, you're gonna be fine. Grab my hands. Here we go. All right, time to jump. And no fancy backflips. I know you want to. Have I ever told you how much I love your dumb jokes? <laughs> the flames are coming up the stairs. We need to go now. Look out! Are you all right? <laughs> Climb down. I'll 
find another way. The bathroom at the end of the hall. I'll see you down there. mess. trusted you, and you chose them over me. Look, I was scared. I made the wrong call. I thought if I helped them, they'd help me in return. That's called conspiracy. I could arrest you for that. But I won't. No hopes. <laughs> They're nothing, Vince. This town doesn't run without me. Even my most loyal deputies know better than ask how or why. That book could bring down a lot of people, myself included. So I gotta ask, did you look inside it? I swear, I didn't even look. And the thing is, I... I don't believe you. How about I take you in for questioning so we can be sure? <laughs> oh, fuck! Hey, where do you think you're going? I just want to ask you a few questions, Vince. Like, uh, what'd you read in there that you didn't want to tell me about? Attempted to question witness in motel room. Witness became aggressive and combative. I was forced to electrocute the living shit out of him. Fuck you, Sheriff. Electrocute that asshole. <laughs> Look what I found trying to crawl under the back gate. Get off! Well, hello. And who might you be? Where's my mommy and daddy? 
I need to make sure they're okay. She's that guy Vince's kid. Cops were meant to be watching her. Want to go for a ride, Dad? Let her go. I don't think so. Zoe, what are you doing here? You were supposed to be in the car. The police woman left the door open, and I wanted to find you. She's coming with us until we're far away and safe. I lied for you. I may have just killed a cop because of you. And you thank me by... by taking my little girl? Relax. It ain't personal. Of course it's personal. Look, this is our only chance. We have a kid in the back of the car. Ain't no way the cops will shoot. That is so not my problem. Ain't it? Drop the gun. boy. Jay, you don't have to do this. Lower it? Please. So no one gets hurt. Thank you. Jay, shoot open that gate and get the truck started. Hmm. She's six years old. Don't you think she's seen enough for one night? So have my boys. So have I. I'm sorry, Vince, but we need her. Please, please, I don't want to go. Wait, you need a hostage? Take me. Yeah, right. After what you just pulled? Ma, we gotta go. Wait. Handcuff me. Blindfold me. Throw me in the trunk if you have to. I'll be the most obedient hostage ever. Just please. Please, don't take my little girl. God damn it. Tyler, let's just take him instead. You try anything. Anything! I won't even say a word. Go on, then. Daddy! Oh, God, Zoe. Come on, you're with us. I have to leave, Pumpkin. Please don't go. Please. Just look after mommy for me, okay? Okay. And hey, if I don't make it back, you always stand up for the people you love. Okay? Let's go. Here. In case we need to see you in the dark. I love you, Zoe. All, all, all the way to the moon. Say you're the reinforcements. Lawrence Bradley, FBI. Jesus, this was a massacre. The sheriff was found unconscious. Everyone else was caught in the blast. We've got four deputies dead. Maybe more after the burns they took. And no sign of the perps. Let's get a helicopter in the air. That's it. Nice and quiet till we're past the tracks. I tell you, if Bear could see us now... Don't talk about him. This is all his dumb fault anyway.
was the person he wanted to be. And this is where it got us. She's gonna be all right. I know. Jay, eyes on the road. <sighs> The place I want is the edge of darkness, where thoughts stop and memories die. Do you hear that? <sighs> Step on it! Ma, what do I do? We'll make it. Just keep driving. Jay! What are you doing? Turn off your engine. Do not attempt to exit the vehicle. It isn't working. It never does. I get a few seconds of peace. Then instinct takes over. Just the motel, but what happened afterward? I won't sleep much tonight. I never do. I'll try again tomorrow. Go tell that long tongue liar. Go tell that midnight rider. Tell the gambler, the rambler, the backbiter. Tell him that God's gonna cut him down. Tell him that God's gonna cut him down.